Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm going to explain a little bit about what Irish sea moss is and how to prepare it and why you might want to add it to your diet. This doesn't really come from Ireland. In fact, the brand I have comes from St. Lucia where they send a team of divers down under the water to harvest this. Then they sun dry it and seal it. That way it'll last in your pantry for a very long time. If you take a look close up, it kind of looks disgusting. It looks almost alien-like, and it is kind of gross smelling. It took me a good while before I even invested into trying this, because I hate the smell of fish, seaweed, seafood. I don't even eat any of that stuff. But why you would want to use this is because it has um, so many health benefits. And also, you don't want to eat it plain. It tastes horrible plain. Usually you'll add it to something like a smoothie or some other type of food just to add in that extra health benefit. However, if you really don't want to go through the process of cleaning this, preparing it, and smelling it because it really smells terrible just the way it is now, then you could also buy it in a capsule formula. How quick is that? The trick to getting the smell out of it is to thoroughly, thoroughly rinse this. And I'm going to show you how I prepare this in the next clip. Keep in mind when you buy this, it comes directly from the sea and then they seal it, they dry and seal it. So you will find a lot of remnants in this, such as sand. You might find some fish netting in there as well. And it smells really nasty. But the key to getting rid of all that is to make sure you rinse it really, really well and get your fingers going throughout it just to rub out all of that, those remnants. The more you rinse this, the more you'll get that horrible smell out of this as well. So I'm going to rinse this for a good couple of minutes. Now place your sea moss into a clean bowl and fill it up with water. And then place this bowl in the refrigerator and let it sit for several hours. And that way this will expand. You can see how this expanded. Sea moss is extremely porous. Now I'm going to take some lemon and just add a little bit of lemon juice to the water. Just quickly mix it around a little bit more. The lemon juice will help get out some of the horrible smell. Then just empty this out. So again, rinsing it, rubbing it through my fingers. Just to make sure I get every little bit of sand out. Now we want to make this into a gel. So I'm going to add my sea moss to my Vitamix. And I'm going to throw in all of this. You only want to add enough water to make it into a gel or like a paste. You don't want to add too much water because you don't want it too thin. So I'm just going to add maybe like about two tablespoons to start. And this is going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to use my tamper and turn this on. I'm going to put this on a low. So you see how this is kind of crumbly? I need a little bit more water. As I said, I want it to come together, but I don't want it to be so runny either. So I'll just add a little bit more. And then continue to blend. And this is what it looks like when it's done. It is a little bit crumbly, but overall, it, the sea moss is sticking together. It feels kind of gel. Because I'm not using this right away, you can freeze it and then just defrost it when you're ready to use this. This is what it looks like when it's done. It's kind of gross looking. It's gross tasting if you eat it plain. But you do, you can add it to foods to make them healthier, like smoothies. I think smoothies is the number one item people add this to. Some people add it to baked foods, all kinds of things. I do have a link on Amazon below in the description box if you want to buy some. I got this for fairly inexpensive. The whole bag was about $11.
If it seems high, you believe me, that was cheap compared to some of the other ones. This brand that I bought too is totally organic. It's vegan. It's it's a very, very good brand. So be sure to check out the link below. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share this video and thumb it up. And I will see you all next time, hopefully soon, using this in a future recipe.